Welcome to the Elevate Everyday podcast. We've got an extremely special guest on the podcast today. We've got one of our very long-term clients, Mark Griffin. And a quick shout out to Mark. Uh, I, I say this a lot to our fitness junkies on our group calls, but there was a point in time when Mark was like the only one showing up for group calls when I was just starting to do everything. Um, so he's one of the OG OGs. Um, we, we actually met at Gold's in College Station back when I worked there, one of my first gym jobs. Um, I tried to sell him in-person training back then. <laughs> and then when I started doing everything online, it was like, a, hey, like this is a fraction of the price of in-person. Like let's, let's make this happen type of thing. So um, it's been a cool journey. We've been working with each other for a couple of years now. Uh, so first and foremost, Mark, appreciate you coming on the podcast. And uh, first question I have for you, you know, since we've started, we'll start with what, what physical progress have you seen in this time? So, you know, I uh, have been here for long and I've actually seen a lot of progress. Um, you know, I used to play sports, was in the core, um, was used to working out. Um, but I, I would always seem to hit kind of like plateaus, you know, I'd get to a point to where, you know, man, I'm not really seeing many improvements on my bench press or, you know, on my squat. And I was like, well, what can I do to kind of change that? So working with you, you know, coming up with those design plans and the specialties that you do, you know, on how to increase the weight, um, was really the, one of the biggest, you know, selling factors for me. So I was able to see my strength drastically increase, which was a big thing for me. I've always been, you know, into hitting those numbers on, you know, our main lifts. So that that's the biggest, you know, thing I've gained from this program is just increasing my strength and which has been phenomenal. Yeah. Where, where were you at in strength before we started? So I think whenever, uh, before we started the max that I'd ever gone on, like bench was 235, 245, you know, I've hit 275 now on, on bench with, from working with you. And then, you know, my squat and deadlift have, you know, increased by 50, 60, 75 pounds since then as well. Awesome. Awesome, man. I know we've, we've lost some weight too, for sure. So <laughs> where, what, what's been the difference on that? So, yeah, you know, that's originally when I first ended up joining uh, as well as strength was I had been kind of out of the gym for a while and, you know, I wanted to, you know, lose some weight. So within that first year, I think I lost about 30, 35 pounds working with you. Awesome. Um, I think the biggest thing that helped me with this program was not having uh, to think about, you know, what workouts am I going to do, setting that up. The, the time that you get from this service is, you know, 100% worth it because you get that time back you're not thinking about it and you have exactly what you need to do um i was well as i think the biggest you know things that helped were our conversations about you know mentality you know mindset how to get in that that right frame of mind um that's yeah. one of the biggest things that you know we have meetings over with all all of the fitness junkies um there's a, a method to the madness and if you don't know how to harness that madness then you're, you're setting yourself for failure so I think those types of calls also just helped me get in the right mindset and a new approach to something that I've done before, but with a uh, you know, new light to it. And then obviously the, the health side, there was things that I knew, you know, like, um, you know, you gotta, gotta eat less than you put in, but just the macros and, and fine tuning that and how that can affect, you know, your outcome is huge. I mean, I, I think we, we noticed a big change in your buy-in into the whole program and everything when you did start going on the group calls every single week. So you're a huge testament of like, you know, I, I feel like you maybe even more than anyone really have got the benefit out of those group calls and have like gained a lot of knowledge in a lot of different topics that we talk about. So I think it's really cool to see how you're using that. And, and Herb always says like steal the knowledge and use it for yourself. Sure. Right. And I think you've done that a whole lot, but you, you touched on it here, like, you know, when we started with physical progress, obviously you're crushing it there. Um, what, what progress have you seen, you know, kind of on the, the mental side of things? What, what kind of mental progress have you made through this program? Yeah, so a lot of things. Um, one of them being journaling, you know, you're a big proponent of journaling. And uh, that was something that I'd always been interested in, but just never took the leap to do. Um, so being able to talk about how other people journal um, really opened me up to that because I was like, okay, well, that, that aligns more with, you know, what I'm looking for and what I'd like to do. So just hearing those different things, uh, journaling has been a big help, um, you know, with tracking your progress as well as just, you know, 
putting down your thoughts a day. And then what's really cool is being able to go back and, you know, review like, Hey, this is where I was at a year ago. Look at, you know, how far I've come. Um, the next thing, you know, kind of on mentality, um, has, you know, with, with the group, you know, we have each other to hold each other accountable. You know, the saying is, if you want to go far, go together, you know, building this, this group of people, um, it's makes it fun, holds you accountable. And you have that group of like-minded people that are going through the same thing. Um, so just being able to have those conversations and build those relationships, um, is awesome. Yeah. And we appreciate you being a leader in that group and fostering, being a part of fostering that environment too, man. Um, that's why I forgot to mention it. Um, Mark was like, we do a little fitness junkie leader of the quarter award. He was the first one that won that award because he's a big leader in the group. So we appreciate you for that. Um, how has, you know, journaling and just like, you know, the, the progress that you've seen through this process, how maybe has that carried over into other aspects of your life? Possibly. That's a fantastic question. You know, um, it, it translates in every aspect of your life. Um, I noticed that, you know, once I started fine tuning and, you know, adhering to the program as well as joining the calls doing all that, um, a lot of the other aspects of my life were increasing because I think the mentality as well as just the physical side of it, um, it builds, you know, habits as well as, you know, strengthens your mindset, strengthens, you know, the way you're able to handle situations. Um, so I saw vast improvements in my personal life and, you know, my relationships as well as in my work life, um, doing all these things, I just saw improvements in every single area. And it, it was, it was crazy. Like, and like I said, one thing's with journaling, you know, looking back at where you were, you know, previously and to see the changes that, that have been made are, is really, really cool. And I a hundred percent think it's because of, you know, the program and the, the mentality change and just all those different things that you add. Awesome, brother. Yeah, the the journaling thing, I've, I've been talking about, about it with Herb recently. It's it's crazy to go back and look at what you were writing before. And if I go back and like read my journal entries from like two years ago, like everything is so much more positive now. And I, I think through that process, it's like you, you almost get sick of seeing yourself write down negative stuff or like, why am I writing this down every day? Like, I'm not okay with these same things and then you start to see it and you start to change it so i think that's that's a huge part of it um but yeah man you've leveled up in a lot of different areas so we're pumped for you um herb herb what do you got on some of the stuff we're jamming on so well far? you know first of all congratulations mark on all your progress and just you know again being such a leader in our community um you know again it's not easy to do but you're a good example of the growth mindset we've been talking about lately and everything so um where do you see yourself in the future? I mean, how you're just a young man still. So is this something that you plan on doing the rest of your life? I mean, can you see yourself incorporating, you know, working out three or four days a week in the gym? A hundred percent. I think, you know, once you start doing it, you become addicted to it. It becomes part of your lifestyle. Um, and it also just helps you deal with um, the other stress of life. You know, as Kay was talking uh, previously, you know, some you see those negative things. I think um, the more you do it, the more you're going to be able to handle those situations. So yeah, I think incorporating, you know, working out, um, you know, making sure that you're eating healthy and all that, it just helps you your overall lifestyle. Um, and I think it should be something that, you know, everyone should do. And I definitely see myself, you know, continuing this path because I, I still have goals. You know, there's, there's goals I haven't reached yet and I, I just want to keep uh, pushing. And I think that's one of the best things about fitness is, you know, there's always going to be goals that you can reach. What, what would be your recommendation, you know, for people that are just a little bit, you know, they hit the gym a couple of weeks and they get sidetracked and they go back and forth and him and Hall, what would be the biggest suggestion that you can give them to focus on? The biggest suggestion I would um, give to them would be, it's about building those habits. And, um, you know, even when you don't want to, let's say, you know, you wake up, you know, you don't want to go to the gym. Um, but building those habits and making sure that you're consistently doing it makes it easier. Also, um, if you set yourself up for success by, you know, limiting things like, hey, let me put my clothes out. Let me get my protein shake ready the night before. Um, just those ease of access, you know, it's going to make it a lot easier on you. Um, but it just gets easier the more you do it. You know, with training, the more you do it, the, the bigger your muscles get with 
consistently going to the gym, the easier it gets and the more addictive it actually gets. Cause you know, whenever you miss a day, then you're just like, oh man, I feel some, something's wrong. Something's off. Um, so if you're, you know, in that process and you're like, you're feeling down, just know that the more you work at it, the easier it's going to get. Again, going back to that growth mindset, right? I mean, what I love about it is that, you know, one day you might be a bodybuilder, next day you're a power lifter, then you're functionally training, then you're training for a marathon. It pretty much covers every aspect of life, um, even up into training for childbirth, training for surgery, going through menopause, you know, things like that. So, yeah, there's a there's an extreme example of how to take care of yourself and, again, not be the victim, not have to rely on going to the doctor. You know, it's like, oh, my knees aren't really good. My back hurts. So I got to go see a doctor. It's like mm, probably because you sit in the desk and lay on the couch all the time. So um, it, it's kind of hard, isn't it? When you see yourself in the mirror and you have to make these decisions on your own and push yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of funny. Um, one thing that I, I've talked with Kate on before yeah. is, you know, I, I have anxiety. Um, I used to be, I, you know, I was diagnosed with anxiety and I used to be on medication. Um once I started working out and getting that consistent routine, I was able to completely wean myself off that medication um, and no longer have to take it because I have other tools, you know, the gym, as well as, you know, a better mindset um, that has helped me. I can't even tell you how much it's helped me. So it's, it's those things that are going to, you know, change your health, change yeah. every aspect. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of like what Herb was saying. It's like be preventative rather than being like reactive to, to these health concerns before they come up. Right. So, so that's awesome that you're able to do that. And I think that's going to resonate with a lot of people. Cause I know a lot of people struggle with that, right. Whether they're, they're diagnosed or not. I know a lot of people struggle with anxiety. So I um, appreciate you sharing that. Um, yeah, man. So to go back on, you said you got goals here. So what, what are your goals? We're going to help hold you to them. And we, we want everyone that's listening <laughs> to hear your goals. You get that peer accountability. So what, what are you, what are you aiming for in 2025? What's coming right. up for you? In 2025, I am going to make the thousand pound club. Yeah. Um, that has been one of my biggest goals um, with lifting. I think, you know, it, there's a, a small percentage of people who who get that uh, to that to that point. Um, and I think that's definitely going to be one of my goals that the biggest focus probably of 2025 or in the next year. Um, and then, you know, I've always kind of focused on strength while trying to lose weight. Uh, once I do want to kind of try and incorporate both, I want to lose uh, probably about... 10 more pounds and get a, a, you know, better body fat percentage. I have lost a lot of weight, um, but I, you know, I just want to kind of fine tune, you know, look, summer ready, you know, kind of, got to look good in a bathing suit. Absolutely. Love it, man. Yeah. And then maybe when we hit your strength goals, you know, we can talk about, um, you know, shifting a little bit towards bodybuilding. That's the beauty of it is like once we hit certain goals, we can pivot, make that happen. So um, I love it. Yeah, man. Um, Herb, you got anything else for Mark? Any other questions you can know again like I, I only met mark uh, five six months ago and i get right away i was impressed and where did i meet him in a group call uh, he's yeah. always on the group call i know it's time to start the group call when mark shows up and he's ready to go and that's the that's the start uh, but you know again it, being an example to other people and it's almost like you know i don't want to go woke here too much but it's almost like and i've had one of the female clients say this to me on a, on a separate call she goes you know what i feel safe telling you what's going on in my life in this group. I don't feel like I'm vulnerable. I don't feel like you guys are going to use this against me. I feel safe. And guys, I've worked with women all my life, built four women's abuse shelters. When a woman tells you she feels safe in the group that you're in, that's huge, right? When you're safe, you can learn. Now I don't have to worry about distractions. Give me all the information possible. So it's a credit to guys like you, Mark, that make these groups, quote unquote, safe. I appreciate it. Yeah, sir. You know, and uh, that's one of the things I think is most underutilized um, with this sort of service. And I've, I've said this multiple times, but, you know, our community and these calls are a time for us to interact with people who are going through the same thing. Um, it's fun, you know, to, to be able to, you know, build that relationship with other people. Um, you know, I've made friends that I, you know, talk talk to on a consistent basis from these these group calls you know I, i'm able to text them we send the stupidest memes to each other um <laughs> but you know that that's yeah. not here or there but you're you're able to you know get that safe space open up to people and then just build those friendships and you know i think it's amazing awesome man 
Well, sweet brother. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to. We're definitely going to do an in person podcast mm-hmm. with you because shout out to Mark. His his uh well, I guess fiance, soon to be wife in the future, um, works in marketing. So that there's a podcast studio that we're going to be able to use at some point. Um, so we'll we'll get that in person podcast, man. But we wanted to make sure we got you on here, got this under our belt. You know, you can get your story and your progress out to the world, um, and everyone. But Mark, any anything we should have asked you that you wanted to add on this one? Um, not really. You know, um, I've been working with you, Kate, for a while, as you said. Um, it's been fun to see how far this group has grown. Like you said, you know, uh, there was only about you and me for a couple of those calls. <laughs> um, and but just the knowledge, the knowledge that I've learned um, from those calls and just the program overall, you know, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I could could write a book on it myself just from those calls. <laughs> awesome. But yeah. would the movie be? What would the movie be rated? That's what I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be safe for children. Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with Herb's mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I appreciate that, man. You've seen you've seen the evolution of the group and everything, so it's been pretty awesome. So, Finnish Junkies of the damn moon, like I'm always saying. But we appreciate you, um, guys. Take some of this stuff. I hope it resonates with you. You know, put put this into action. You know, like. Like Mark said, knowledge is power, but I put this in the WhatsApp the other day, um, but it's only power if you if you apply it, right? Yeah. So um, put it into action. Everything you hear on the Elevate Everyday podcast, put it into practice right away. We'll see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mark. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.